Good morning and welcome to a very brief bulletin here on the Angry Astronaut. If Elon Musk says anything about waiting for FAA approval at this point, well, it's doubtlessly more complicated than that because we have been observing some issues happening at Boca Chica, especially during the most recent wet dress rehearsal, and for some reason, it's really not finding its way into media coverage. Only NASA space flight and a couple other organizations really seem to care about all of it, but it does seem significant as far as I'm concerned. By the way, this footage was taken back on February 12th as part of a site drive that was carried out by my friends at Mars Embassy, and at this time, only 15 people have watched this footage, and I'm telling you, that's a crime because this man does good work, and I have his channel linked in the description. Okay. So what happened last week? Well, first of all, SpaceX did another test of their deluge system. That seems to be working extremely well, and as we have observed during the static fires and during the last liftoff of Starship, it protected the pad very, very well. A little bit of minor damage may have occurred to the orbital launch mount, but for the most part, this deluge system seems to do a very good job indeed. And by the way, as you probably noticed, this footage was taken by the folks at What About It, and I encourage you to support them as well. They also are linked in the description. But it was after the test of the deluge system that things started to go south. Both wet dress rehearsals involve trying to tank up the orbiter before tanking up the booster. They were trying to fill up S-28 before B-10, which is in sharp contrast to all previous wet dress rehearsal processes. Why they're doing this is a mystery. but. It never got completed. In both cases, the tanking test was aborted. The second time, they got a little bit further than the first time, but nevertheless, the wet dress rehearsals were not completed in either case. This is very strange indeed, and perhaps cause for concern, the rocket has now been unstacked. S-28 may be executing a separate static fire, but also we may be looking for some troubleshooting here in the coming days, given what happened during the wet dress rehearsal. Once again, of course, SpaceX isn't talking. Now, a number of modifications have probably been made to both the booster and the orbiter to try to keep what happened during the second launch attempt from happening again. And after observing some new weapons weld points on both the rocket and the orbiter, it has been theorized that new baffle plates are being added to the tanks. Baffle plates are designed to disrupt the flow of propellant to make sure that propellant slosh doesn't occur, or at least reduce the effects of propellant slosh, which may have been responsible for the destruction of the booster the first time, or rather, the second time. But all of this, once again, is theoretical. The one thing that we do know is that the wet dress rehearsals did not go as planned and there's unquestionably some troubleshooting going on right now as we speak. Now, does this mean that they're going to need to do another wet dress rehearsal before we can look at a launch? That's difficult to say because wet dress rehearsals are not 100% necessary, but then again, given the fact that these did not go all that smoothly, might be a good idea to get the process right next time before you push on. Nevertheless, that's not my decision to make. I'm about to leave for Washington, D.C. as I am recording this, and I will probably release it when I get to Reykjavik in Iceland. That's where I need to change planes. Looking forward to bringing you all of this exciting coverage from the FAA convention and hopefully some interviews from SpaceX, Blue Origin, and other big power players in the space industry. Thank you very much for your support. Please like please subscribe. Also, please check the description if you would like to become part of my Patreon family because that's what made this trip to Washington, D.C. possible. And until we see Starship take flight again, I urge all of you to stay angry about space.